Good morning, YouTube. So it is Thursday, September 12th, and I wanted to give you a little update. So I have been, we've been doing Eureka Math, and if you've been doing Eureka Math, you know that you use personal whiteboards. You use them for them to mark things, and I've had them for years, and I've used everything to erase on them from Kleenexes, paper towels, um, pop, um, pom poms. Um, I had bought several sets, but I used them at my reading guide, my guided reading table, and guided math table. I had bought several sets of the facial buff things from Dollar Tree that everybody talks about, and um, I, I didn't have a class set though. I have maybe I know I have six, um, probably about ten at most, and. So the problem is I needed them for everybody. I have went to, we have three Dollar Trees in our area. I went to all three, none of them had them. And so obviously the run on them is crazy. And I didn't want to order them on, I know that you can order things online. I've shared about that before. The problem is you had to order so many, I would end up with like 64 of those. And I don't really need 64 of them, I only need 20. So I've been looking around for an alternative and something that might work. So um, I thought I would share this. It might work, it might not work, I'm not sure. But at Dollar Tree, when I was there last night looking for those, I went through the baby section and they had these sets of baby washcloths and they're like microfiber. So I feel like they'll probably work well and they're washcloths so I can just take them home and wash them when they get too nasty from all the, you know, wiping off the boards. And there's four to a pack. So I was able to get a class set for $5. And so I'm gonna start using them today. And so hopefully those will work a little bit better. The pom-poms just aren't working. I used to use them, I used to glue them onto the tip of the marker. Um, and the thing is, when I used them before, we were writing our whole math lesson on it. I mean, everything was not on the whiteboard. It was just working some problems out or writing a number. So it was quick. Now, if they're erasing their whole whiteboard with this little pom-pom, yeah, it just takes so long. And I'm like, I don't have time to wait. We gotta move on, let's go. And so um, I'm hoping this will work. So like I said, I will update you. Um, another thing, I didn't talk about this yesterday because, on my vlog because my vlog yesterday about my slide decks was so long, I didn't feel like I had time to put it in. Um, but yesterday morning, I had a little egg fiasco. fiasco. Um, I was cooking my eggs in the morning, and I'll post the video right after I say this. Um, <laughs> of what happened and I just have to laugh because I can't even believe still that it happened. So I have this microwave egg cooker that will cook four eggs and boil them in their microwave and I've used it forever. I mean I've had that thing probably, I don't know, at least like 10 or 11 years, I don't know, a long time. And um, my mom had one too. And so when she passed away, she gave, I got, I got hers too, or maybe before she passed away. I just know I have two of them. And they're both have been used numerous times because I eat eggs a lot and I take them with me to eat. So yesterday morning, I put my four eggs in my cooker, put it in the microwave. The microwave is going, um, it takes about nine minutes when you're doing four eggs. And at about five minutes or so, I'm fixing my protein shake, and the microwave explodes open. Uh, the lid to the egg thing shoots across the kitchen. Um, it explodes. Four eggs are everywhere in my microwave, all down my stove, all down my oven, and I scream. I mean, I was very. <laughs> terrified. I thought my microwave's on fire, which that has happened before. Um, and so I, I took a video of it. So I'll post that so you can see how bad it was. However, um, and I had to just leave it. Like I cleaned part of it, but I had to get to work and it was time to leave and I didn't want to be stressed at work. So I just left it. And so when I got home yesterday, 
Um, I thought I was just gonna come home to a mess. I thought it was gonna be like dried, caked on, egg everywhere, but really it wasn't. I was able to just take some paper towels, wipe the rest of it down, then take my cleaner and clean it off and it came out good as new. Haven't used it yet, but I'm hoping it is damage free. Um, so that was how my morning started yesterday. I had a good day. It was just, and I had a good morning up until then. And it's just one of those things that happens. So um, hopefully today will be event free and there won't be as many issues. So I hope you have a blessed day and I will talk to you later. So if you thought you were having a bad morning this morning, <laughs> I can't even, I can't even fathom what just took place. So... I cook my eggs in this little cooker and I do it all the time. The lid to it's actually across my kitchen. And I was in here cleaning up, fixing my protein shake, and suddenly there was a loud explosion and I came back around to this. And I literally screamed. I mean, it was so loud. Um, so yeah, so this is, this is what I'm starting my day with and no eggs, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so, as an update to yesterday, I was able to clean my microwave. All the egg came out. It is now ready to be used again. I don't think I've used it. I don't think I used it yesterday um, after the whole egg fiasco. So, now it is good as new and it all did come out. Hello, my YouTube friends. So, I wanted to just touch base. This week is going to be like a really short video. Um, just a couple crazy things that happened. Um, so, this week has been one of those weeks that, like, I've just had to have a good attitude about because if anything could happen, it did. Um, I posted about my egg, microwave egg thing exploding in my microwave and so that was like how my week started um, and then one of my bookshelves fell in my classroom while my kids were getting their stuff out of it which I've already fixed it myself three times and then yesterday maintenance came to fix it and then while they were fixing it like I was in the middle of teaching and they're like taking stuff off thank goodness they fixed them so quickly but like I wanted the other shelves fixed as well so while I'm teaching they're taking stuff off the shelf and carrying them out and carrying them back in and I was finishing up star test and then um, the biggest thing which is just insane that this happened is we have a Jeep Wrangler and it was in our driveway and we live like on a really steep hill and the road is down by our house. So last night I'm sitting in the house, it's probably about 10 o'clock and the Jeep without anybody in it rolled down the hill into traffic and hit a car. So there's that. And so that kind of made my Friday the 13th with the full moon a little bit better because you know it can't be worse than it was yesterday as with all the stuff that's happened and today was actually a really good day um, I'm sure if you're in North Carolina you know all about iStation you may have already started iStation um, today was our I did the modeling of it yesterday um, this morning I finished modeling and then we started it and because of the combo class, then I went ahead and I started with my first graders. So I had one first grade out, but I got all the rest finished today. I did some of them in the morning. And then this afternoon, after I did my math lesson, when I should, you know, like during our guided reading and guided math, that's what I did. I pulled um, three more back, got them started, and then I pulled three more back. And um, so... I had a couple issues with like headphones not working, but other than that, like there were no issues with it. Um, the data looks good. It's hard for me to tell because we don't have anything to compare it to. Um, so I guess it's just, it is, it is what it is. And it's, those, those are finished and then I'll finish the rest um, at the first of next week. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk or mention is, um, 
and I haven't been able to give them out yet, but I had, over the summer, I posted a Facebook post asking for people, friends of mine or friends of the community, to donate $20 a month so that I could purchase one book for each one of my children in my classroom each month. And so I've ordered, I went ahead and with my own money, ordered a couple sets. And so when those checks come in, I'll post those, give those out. And I plan on putting little tags in them that says this book was donated by and then whoever the person's name. So I'm excited to see how um, excited they are to all get their books and be able to have their own book um, that they can take home. Um, the other thing that um, I wanted to mention and I wanted to end my video with this is that um, I'm sure that most schools have some kind of a um, learning network or learning community that you have like PLCs or PLNs, you might call them something different, but they're a way that you can get some professional development that's not dictated by your county, that it's what you really need. And um, my principal has been super flexible about this with me, and I'm sure he would with anybody that was doing this. It's not just because he likes me or anything. It's just because I'm teaching the combo class. But instead of being in one of the other PLCs that are meeting here at school, um, not that I don't need guided math or guided or any of the others. I don't remember what the others were. Um, but not that I don't need those, but um, my plate is running over with things that I need to learn how to do with my combo class. So um, we, there's five people in our county, four or five, that are actually teaching a combo class this year. So one of the things that he said that I could do is instead of meeting with those PLCs that are meeting here, I could have my own PLC with those teachers and we can conglomerate together, plan. And um, so one of the girls, her schedule's kind of tight. She's um, a newer mom and like the combo class is just a lot to have to keep two plans for everything going. Um, so she was like, I just don't know that I can really meet on a regular basis, but we can start this Facebook group. So she started a Facebook group for us. Um, another girl said that she was free like on Mondays and Thursdays and we might meet like at a coffee shop and to team plan and share a plan book together so that we can um, see what each other's doing. Even if you don't copy those plans, at least you can have some idea. Are you in the same ballpark? <laughs> Are you even playing the same game as the other people? Um, so those are just some really helpful things. So um, I wanted to offer this out. If anybody is teaching a combo class and would like to plan with us, I could invite you to that Facebook group. We would love to have different ideas. Or if you just want to meet with me, Skype with me, um, Google chat, any of those um, FaceTime kind of things. Um, I would love to get some other ideas of what other people are doing because I'm new to this and the only way you can do it is just to dive in with both feet and like just doggy paddle until you're able to breathe out of your mouth. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I'm hoping that next week is going to have less events to it. I actually have to have my surgery to have my other tooth taken out next Thursday. So I'll be out next Thursday and Friday. So I have to do lesson plans for that. And I'm not really sure what that's going to look like because I've happened to do the combo class lesson plans. However, because like I shared with you in the last video about my slide decks, because of those slide decks, I can just share those slide decks with my substitute and she should be able to pull everything up and not have to do any extra links or anything and everything will just be right there for her. Um, I hope you have a blessed weekend. Um, I hope you get some rest over your weekend and enjoy um, the summer weather that we're having since it never seems to be getting cooler so that we can actually have some fall-ish weather as we go into the middle of September.